In this video, we're going to try to prove that the integral between 1 and infinity of sine t over t dt is not absolutely convergent. That means that we need to prove that the sine t over the absolute value of t, or let's say the, sine, the absolute value of sine of t over t is not uh, is not convergent. That means the integral between 1 and plus infinity of the absolute value of sine of t over t dt is not absolutely convergent. But since we have uh, sine, absolute value of sine of t over t is uh, sine of t over t, since t is bigger than 1, because the absolute value of this, this one is just uh, t, because t is positive. This one will, be, will change, okay? So the issue that is we need to prove now that 1, the integral between 1 and infinity of sine of t over t dt is uh, divergent, is, is infinity. Okay? So what we can do is we, so uh, to do this, we can uh, compute the limit, okay? The limit as x goes to infinity between 1 and x of this integral between 1 and x of sine of t in absolute value over t dt but we can't compute this primitive here okay sine the absolute value of sine of t over t so we don't know this one okay so all we know is this one is uh, can exist because it's continuous okay but the issue is we we just want to show that it's not convergent, not absolutely convergent. That means well, since it's positive, it's going to be only positive infinity. So that's what we need to show here. But we're going to use the, the comparison test for integrals, for improper integrals to be precise to show that this one is not convergent. So the key idea is that we know that the cosine of 2x is 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. So the sine squared is going to be 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. Okay? So from here, we're going to start approving this result. So we know that, uh, let's switch to t. We know that the, the sine squared of t is less than 1. Okay? So it's less than sine of t. Okay? For all t is bigger than 1. So this is the key idea here, okay? So once we do that, so we're going to have the, uh, let's focus on this one here without the limit. Let's focus only on this part here, okay? So now we have, when we do the sine of t over t is bigger than sine squared of t over t that's bigger than uh, let's see what do I have. I have one half, okay, minus cosine of two t over two. Okay. Now, if I integrate between one and x, okay. So I'm gonna be interested only on this one. So this one here. So I can find. So this is the just. Uh, I miss. I'm missing a, a t here. So a t, a t here. So this one is bigger than one. This last part here. So this one, I can find the first primitive of the first part. So it's going to be the natural log of x over 2 minus this one here. I don't need to evaluate this one. This is 1 half cosine of 2t over t. Or let me keep the 2 here, okay, dt. So I know this one from one of the videos. This one is convergent, okay? So this one is convergent. So let's give it a value m, okay? So now I know that one, the integral between one and x of sine of t in absolute value over t dt is bigger than this one, okay? So when I take the limit, so let's take the limit as x goes to infinity, as x goes to infinity, this one is gonna be infinity. And this one, this one is going to be m. So m, infinity minus some m is infinity. Therefore, this integral is bigger than infinity. 
and therefore it's not convergent. It's it can't be uh, greater than any other thing than infinity. Therefore it's infinity. Therefore it's not convergent. So this means that this side, this that's what this one here, one uh, plus infinity sine of t over t in absolute value is infinite. Okay, and therefore it's not convergent. Therefore, this one is not absolutely convergent because it's not finite. And this proves my result that this one is not absolutely convergent because in absolute convergence, we I need to have this one convergent in absolute value. So remember that this one is convergent, but it's not convergent in absolute value. That means that the regular convergence doesn't imply the absolute convergence, but absolute convergence if we have something, uh, uh, an integral, a proper integral that's absolutely convergent, then it's convergent. Okay, so we don't have the other way around. Okay, so absolute convergence is stronger than the regular convergence. Okay, and this shows one of the examples. Okay, thank you very much.